Bulgarian Leviosa. My name's Pipkin Pippa. I'm gonna put this letter letter away. I'm gonna I'm gonna frame it later. I'm gonna I'm gonna frame it. It's gonna be great. Anyways, this is my bird. Yeah. It doesn't have a name. You can come up with a name. I don't have a name for it. I just kind of I found it. It's got a bow on it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm awkward. I'm not I'm not used to this many people being here. Anyways. So, instead of jumping right into the game, I decided it might be a little bit more interesting if we start off with... Da -da -da -da! There's, there's a lot of super chats and stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that later. I'll, I'll get to that later. This, this is a lot. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Is Bird Prisoner okay? Bird Prisoner is never okay. Bird Prisoner is never okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is Wizarding World. It used to be called Pottermore, I think. Right? Then the, I swear to God. I swear to God, this used to be called Pottermore, right? Am I crazy? I feel like this had a completely different name before. And looked completely different. That was the name a while back? Yeah? Okay, okay, so I'm not crazy. But I made myself a lovely little icon here. It's absolutely hideous. The art is fucking ugly. The art is fucking hideous. And actually, let me show you. Let me show you. When you fuck with this thing, because, like, it's so small, and the colors are so, like, specific, right? Like, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of color variation. And, like, you can't, you can't, like, move stuff. Like, you can't, you can't layer it. It sucks. This thing sucks. There's barely any outfits. There's no, like, colors for the outfits or anything. Pick art. It's worse, it's worse than Pickru. It's worse than Pickru. Like, look at the backgrounds. Look at the backgrounds, man. There's like, four backgrounds that are all Christmas. This one's Christmas. This one's Christmas. This one's Christmas. This one's Christmas! This one- Well, this one's just winter. Okay, the rest are just winter. But still, why do you need four of them for fucking- Wait, was that four? I can't count. Anyways. Christmas time. Happy Christmas, Harry! Do they actually sell- Oh, I should put on some BGM. You know? I planned a lot of stuff and I didn't- I didn't plan on having... BGM. <laughs> should we put on- Oh, no, we should save Hedwig's theme, because I bet that's gonna play when we open up the game. Aw, oh, man, what's good- Hold on, the wizard BGM. What will that come up with? 
This is fine. Don't worry about it. Welcome to the scuff zone. Yeah, whimsical. Delightfully whimsical. Okay, okay, so. Hold on, let me check my notes. <laughs> I laid out like a I laid out like an order and stuff for how to do this. Okay. So I'm gonna tease you guys, and we're not gonna do the house quiz yet. We're not gonna do the house quiz yet. No sorry. We're gonna do the Patronus. You know, I just realized, I think this has audio. I didn't even need to put on BDM. I think... Patronus. So this is like... A politically correct spirit animal. Oh god, it lags. Oh my fucking god, it's laggy. Holy shit! The Patronus is a kind of positive force. A projection of the very things that the Dementor... That's basically like little mini devils. Feeds upon hope, happiness... Oh fuck! Okay, well... Holy lag! Holy la Oh, fucking, it's loud. They're like- they're like little spirit animals, chat. You've got notes for this. I- I did, because I figured I'd- I'd spill my spaghetti. Once there were too many people here. Holy God! <laughs> I'm frozen! I'm frozen! Harry Potter! Browser! Give Christ! Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 discover! I think this is time, too. I- I think I- I think I watched Shy Lily do it? Oh my god. Oh my sweet Jesus. <laughs> uh... Shine! Oh, I'm back! I'm back! Don't mind me, it was- it was freezing. Snape killed Pippa! Oh my god, spoilers! Aw, oh, man, I should have prepared that video. Ooh, warm or cold? Well, I like to be warm and cozy. I like to be warm and cozy, chat. Which I guess... I feel like it's better to be more cold than it is to be more warm, right? Did you know... Did you know people in hot areas live shorter lifespans? Earth, wood, stone. Ah, uh, rocks. I can't believe Pippa died! Five FPS, Pippa. You, you gotta... You just gotta accept it, man. You just gotta... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all... It's... It's all... All part of the plan. I just... I just didn't want you guys to be too impressed by my... Note-taking and... What was that? Your Patronus is trying to form. Don't get... Can we, like... There's a mute button, but there's no nerf the fuck it... Oh my god. Why? Who? Why? Hello? Ah! Oh god, I can't alt-tab. I hope nothing important's happening, because I can't fucking see. Oh god. I can't see. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 shit! Too slow this... Okay. Well... Remind me not to alt-tab. Oh god. <laughs> oh, the tree's blocking. Listen, watch, touch. Um... I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch... I watch a lot of YouTube. Chad, this is so over. It's so... It's so over. Oh, God! Oh, God! I'm alive! Oh! Click and drag and release for your Patronus. Click, drag, and release? Huh? Drag where? Like, swirl it? Your Patronus is a... A falcon. <gasps> That's like what I have on my shoulder. Kind of. Not quite. <laughs> I got it again! The Patronus turned and was cantering back towards Harry across the still surf. Oh, this is a book from the quote. The wait. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Captain Falcon! The natural predator of a rabbit. That makes sense, you know? Yin and yang? Yeah? Does it- does it say anything? Learn more? No, I don't care that much. I don't care that much. Okay, then there's the wand. I never understood the fixation on the wands. Chat. I feel like wands are kind of boring. Is it just because I'm not like a... I'm not like a fan of the books? Do the wands have more importance in the books? I feel like... Like there's like one cool scene about wands in the movie. Wands are wizard guns. Not really. No, I, I don't think so. I'd rather have a gun than a wand. If you ask me, would you rather be a wizard or would you rather have a gun? I'd rather have the gun. 
I feel like it's just a lot more effective. First of all, you would describe yourself as... I, th I think I'm... I think I'm average. Oh my god, my stream's dying. <laughs> and your eyes are... Pink's not on here. Pink's... Pink's not on here, chat. What was the day you were born on? An even number, an odd number... Chat! Fun fact! I was born tomorrow! That's right. Tomorrow's my birthday. So I'm gonna be doing a birthday stream. Hell yeah, you're gonna show up, right? You're gonna show up, right? You're not gonna leave me alone at my birthday party, are you? You sick fuck. I bet you're going to. Yep! Fuck you, buddy! Shut the fuck up! Tomorrow, yeah! Okay, do you most pride yourself on your determination, resilience, originality, kindness, imagination, intelligence, optimism? Well, I'm sure shit not optimistic. Happy birthday, Pippa! It's not my birthday yet. Um... I'd say I'm pretty resilient. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you left towards the sea, right towards the castle, ahead towards the forest? I want to go see the castle. I feel like a castle is a lot more interesting, right? But I feel like you're also turning yourself into like a horror game protagonist. Like... Wait, not horror game. Horror book. Maybe horror movie. I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, yeah horror game, maybe. Castlevania. Happy birthday, Peppers. It's not my birthday! Thank you for the $100, Dorsal. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Do you most fear fire, isolation, small spaces, darkness, or heights? Mmm. Chat, does anybody else have a mini meltdown when they're trying to take, like, their jacket off or their shirt off or whatever? And, and your shirt gets, like, kind of caught and your arms are kind of, like, bent. Like, in a way where you cannot, like, bend them enough to, like, shimmy the shirt off. And you're just kind of, like, stunlocked there between your, like... I don't know how to explain this. Chat, do you ever get stuck taking your shirt off? I have ripped the shirt before. Panicking with that happening. Skill issue! What do you mean skill issue? It's a normal thing that happens to even people who are very skilled at removing their clothes, chat. Not that you know! I called you a virgin just then. <laughs> Help me, Steph, bro! I'm gonna say small spaces. <laughs> yeah, while driving. What, what, what do you mean while driving? Wait, what do you mean while driving? What do you... What? Why are you taking your clothes off while driving? I think that's illegal. I don't know if there's a law for that, but it feels like there should be. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> do you not? No. No, I do not. <laughs> it's hot inside the car, Pippa. So park! You guys are freaks. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? A silver dagger, an ornate mirror, a glittering jewel, a bound scroll, a golden key, a dusty bottle, or a black glove? Well, is this a, th these are magical artifacts, right? These are magical artifacts. So I think the key would help me rob people, right? Not that I would. Not that I would rob people, but hypothetically, if I wanted to rob somebody, or if I got locked out of my own house. Although I've locked myself out of my house quite a few times yet, and every time I just I just go back in through the window. <laughs> I haven't had it happen recently, but back when back when I was in in school, right? Back when I was in school. I very frequently forgot to bring a key with me. And so I just I just climb in through the window. I worked every time. Worked every time, Jet. You what? Yeah. I remember when I was younger, my parents, uh, when they were house hunting, when they wanted to see a house, they'd just send me in through the window. And then I'd go and I'd unlock one of the doors, right? Usually the front door has like the little box thing on it. So you shouldn't do that. You should open the back door where there is no little box thing. It works wonderfully! Why wait for a realtor to come show you the house when you can just send your child in through the window? Yeah, through the bathroom window. Usually the bathroom windows work the best. 
Wait, what? Yeah. Burglary is a great skill. So anyways, I want the key. <laughs> I got an ebony one with Phoenix Core 12 and a quarter and supple flexibility. See, I don't know what these words mean. Ebony wood, the jet black wand wood, has an impressive appearance and reputation, being highly suited to all matter of combative magic and the transfiguration. Ebony is happiest in the hand of those who, with the courage to be themselves. Frequently non-conformist, highly individual, are comfortable with the status of outsider. Ebony wand owners have been found both among the ranks of the Order of the Phoenix. That's one of the movies, Chad. That's one of the movies. Wait, Order of the Phoenix. I want. I've seen all the movies, Chad. Back when the movies were coming out, my papa can used to used to take us all to go see the movies. But I don't remember which one Order of the Phoenix was. I feel like it was the book with the blue cover. But I don't... There's like the Order of the Phoenix and then there's like the Ministry of Magic? It's the fifth one? But like what happens in it? After Goblet of Fire? I feel like Goblet of Fire is like the last... One that I remember anything happening in. Because because Dumbledore is like, DID YOU PUT YOUR NAME IN THE GOBLET OF FIRE, HARRY?! And then there's like the mermaids, and there's like the Olympic Games and stuff, but for wizards. But what happens after that? They order a phoenix, that makes sense. Um... AND AMONG THE DEATH EATERS! Ooh! Ooh! In my experience, Ebony Wand's perfect match is the one who will hold fast to his or her beliefs, no matter what external pressure. Ooh, that's topical. And will not be swayed lightly from their purpose. Ooh, oh, shit! Shit, we got the RNG! We got the RNG, chat! Holy shit, this is the rarest core type! Look at that, chat. I'm special. I'm special, chat. I got the Phoenix core. It's the rarest core, nerds. Get fucked, losers. I got the rare one. Fuck you. <laughs> I got the ultra rare. Phoenix feathers are capable of the greatest range of magic. Oh my god, Chad. I'm just so skilled. I'm just the greatest wizard of all time, Chad. Holy shit. Though they may take longer than either unicorn or dragon cores to reveal this. Late bloomer. Hmm? They show the most initiative, sometimes acting of their own accord. A quality that many witches and wizards dislike. A little bit of a... little bit of a maverick. Uh, Phoenix feather wands are always the pickiest when it comes to potential owners. Could only be me, both. It could only be me! <laughs> for the creature for which they are taken is one of the most independent and detached in the world. Yeah, I'm pretty detached from society, but usually people think that's a bad thing. These wands are the hardest to tame and to personalize, and their allegiance is usually hard won. Oh my god. I'm just so skilled. I'm the protagonist, Chet. I'm built different, that's right! I'm built a schizo wand. No, what do you mean schizo wand? <laughs> What do you mean schizo wand? What the fuck? Twelve and a quarter length. Okay, now how do you come up with like fancy personality shit for for wand length? The following notes on wand length and flexibility are taken for. Okay, I don't care. Most wands will be in the ring. Okay, okay. So is this just um? Abnormally short wands usually select those whose character. Something is lacking rather than because they are physically undersized. Many small witches and wizards are chosen by longer ones. What? I don't know what these words mean. Flexibility! Wand flexibility or... Denotes the degree of adaptability and willingness to change. Possessed by the wand and... Okay, yeah, I don't care. Has time! It's the moment you've all been waiting for, chat. <laughs> Subtle! Stick! Compensating much? You're compensating! Fuck you! What does any of this mean? I don't know! Hufflepuff? No. I'm not thinking... I'm not thinking Hufflepuff. Am I a member yet? I don't know, are you? Peppa's baby! So, no, you guys are freaks. I'm seeing some weird shit in chat. I'm seeing some weird shit in chat! You guys are freaks! No step on Slytherin. What did you guys get? Okay, instead of predicting what I'm gonna get, what did you guys get? I'm curious. I'm curious. Slytherin? 
Hufflepuff? Azkaban? You can't you can't be Azkaban house. That's not a house. Holy shit, a bunch of Ravenclaws. Oh my god, there's so many Ravenclaws and Hufflepuff? I feel like it's like I feel it must be like 40% Ravenclaw, 20% Hufflepuff. And then rest. Slytherin, of course. Hufflepuff gang. SpongeBob, that's not a house. That is, good try. Good try, it's not a house. Not even close. I don't even think you're trying. Is that the real Medica? I don't believe it is. Ravenclaw, by the way. I don't imagine Medica taking Harry Potter house quizzes. <laughs> Gryffindor. Too many British people didn't play. Ah, uh, that's understandable. I feel like that's my natural aversion to the Harry Potter stuff, right? I feel like Harry Potter would be a lot more tolerable if it was American. But then they made American Harry Potter and somehow it was... Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I tried watching that. I tried watching the, um... Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I just mentally checked out. You guys, you guys know when you're watching a really just... It's not like a good movie. It's not a bad movie. It's just... Eh? And you kind of... But it, but it was a bad movie. So I don't know. I don't know. But it wasn't bad enough to keep me interested. It was a real gem. Oh my god. Jim's a Ravenclaw. No slivered onions! In my Harry Potter game, let's go! What?! I gotta hope not. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna start the quiz. I'm gonna start the quiz. Uh, Dawn or Dawn? Oh, wait, no, no, no! One thing I'd One last thing I'd like to say. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you! Fuck you, Warner Bros! You fucking assholes! You took Johnny Depp! You took Johnny Depp out of your goddamn movie! And it turns out... It turns out everybody loved Johnny Depp by the end of the controversy! Fuck you, Warner Brothers! Wrong move, bitches! Wrong move! Checkmate, dumbass! I didn't even see the other ones. I I, I don't... Wait, was... Was... Was Johnny Depp in... The first one? Maybe he was only... There's like four of them, right? There's like four of those Fantastic Beast movies. Is Johnny Depp in the first one or the second one? And then they replace him with Mads Mickelson. Was it... Oh, at the end. He was in the first two? Second and third? I don't know. I don't know, Chad. Okay, dawn or dusk? Um... Honestly, I forget what these are. <laughs> Chad! <laughs> Chad, I forget what these are. It's always darkest before the dawn. Is dawn like nighttime? In dusk is morning? Oh no, dawn of a new day! Dawn of, so dawn is morning. Dawn is morning, dusk is nighttime. Um So dawn is when it's like kinda red out. I think I like dawn the most, right? I like dawn the most because that's when like everything like it's kinda it's kinda dewy. It's kind of dewy and cold and icy. And it's just warming up a little bit and you can see your breath, right? But... It's such a... I don't know. It almost feels like a different world, right? I feel like... I feel like mornings are like an entirely different world. Which of the following would you most like to study? Mer people? Centaurs. Hey, don't these like bad touch people in the books? Don't these do like bad things to women? In the books? Yes? Because I, I remember, um... There was like this... There was this post floating around where it was like... Professor, um... Umbridge? She, um... She gets dragged off by centaurs at the end. It's only implied? And then people were... People were going off about how like, um... It's really a bye. It's really, it's really degenerate. She deserved it? Well, I'm not gonna make any commentary. I'm not, mm, Don't worry about Pippa. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, centaurs, werewolves, vampires, goblins. Oh, oh, topical. Uh, trolls, ghosts. 
These all suck. <laughs> These all suck. They're boring. They're boring. Uh, I want to store. I want to study the sus thing centaurs though. There we go. Goblin days. <laughs> Which would you rather be? Liked, trusted, feared, envied, imitated, praised? Ah. Uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Everything else, eh. Eh, if people are copying you, chat, that means... That means you are a defining... Feared! Oh my god, chat! If people are imitating you, they could love you or they could hate you, right? But they want to be you. And that means you're above them, inherently. <laughs> Maybe that's an asshole thing to say, but like... That person is basically putting you above them. And that's funny to me. That's better than being feared. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. What does that mean? Now she has to come top of... Wait. Now he has come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to a side after his lesson and asks you whether or not his classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Oh, that's hard to read. What the fuck? That's fucking hard. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming for... This is really complicated. <laughs> this is too much text. Lie? ESL! I'm not ESL! English is my native language! I'm just stupid! Leave me alone! Wait, Flitwick? Flitwick is already around? I, I, this is this is an online quiz. I don't know. I don't know about in the game. Um, you would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth if you knew somebody was using a forbidden quill. You would tell the teacher before the exam started. Oh, you'd be a narc. How many of you would narc chat? How many of you are snitches? ESL moment. I'm not ESL. People always have problems, Randy? Tip is not stupid, just too smart. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just... I'm just on the next level. I'm just anticipating the words before they're written, and that's why it trips me up. You wouldn't understand, because you're stupid, and you just read the words on the page as, as you see them. Idiots. Anyways. Why and say you don't know, but hope that somebody else tells Professor Flitwick the truth? Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate, and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, that you will! This is all way too evolved in, in involved. This is so. This is there's too many there's too many like ands right. Nice save, Fibba. Like where's the one where you just ignore this? Because who cares? You're not going to Wizard College. There's no Wizard College that you're trying to get top scores in to go to. So who the fuck cares? Um. And going out of your way to narc is just gonna... Uh, gonna uh, weird. Um... Um... And this one's kind of condescending, right? Am I reading too much into the wizarding world Harry Potter? Uh... Is this Sorting Hat quiz? Are we on the Sorting Hat? Sorting Hat quiz? <laughs> Chad, am I putting too much thought? <laughs> into the quiz for literal children? Drop out, wizard, damn! Shut up. It's overly complicated. It is complicated, and the text is so small. This is for literal kids, Pippa! Excuse you, it's also for the 20 to 30 year old women who read the books growing up and don't use Twitter yet. Okay, um. How about, how about this one? How, uh, teacher asks you, did this person cheat? You say, I don't know, why don't you go ask them? There you go! Easy! Easy! After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Ask for more stories about your adventures. Miss you, but smile. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me when I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Kinda true. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda true. Why the fuck do I care? I'm dead. I'm dead. What am I gonna say? Nothing, cause I'm dead. 
Uh, what kind of instrument most pleases your ear? Sis, I never understood that question! Well, how do you want people to remember you? I don't know, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm not gonna be around for it. The piano? The drum? The violin? Or the trumpet? Who the fuck has ever said they like the sound of the trumpet? The trumpet is only good for like, uh... Like the rare solos where they go off. Nobody's like, yeah, I love the endearing sound of the trumpet. Jesus Christ. Um, I think violins have the most beautiful sound. Easiest to fuck up, but... If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you take with you? Cats, toads, owls. I want the cool bird. You can have a cat as like a normal person, right? And you can have a toad as a normal person. But how often... In how many... How many opportunities would you realistically have to have a pet owl and then have an owl that, like, delivers you letters and stuff? Only stupid people choose the other two, chat. Only stupid, unimaginative... Un <laughs> unimaginative people choose cats or toads. Bar... Oh, 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 we can go into detail. Barn owl, that's what I have on my shoulder. Tawny owl. Snowy owl. Screech Owl! Oh, that's what I do. Brown Owl. I think Barn Owls are cool. Did you know Barn Owls are like, like the symbol of death? Barn Owls are cool. White or black? Alright, Twitter, don't look. Oh, should I hide the screen? <laughs> should I hide the screen? Oh, well. The Sorting Hat is ready to make its decision. Na 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 Please hear guys! Oh! Oh god, I'm a nerd. Welcome to Ravenclaw! You probably know that some of Ravenclaw's most renowned members include Gilderoy Lockhart and Luna Lovegood. I know who this one is, I don't know who this one is. Lockhart's the name of a new VTuber. I know that. Kiki Lockhart? And this is the- this is the weird girl. What?! What do you mean, why, Dad? You didn't think I could be smart? You didn't think I could be smart? What do you mean, why? Fuck you, buddy. Nice choice, nerd. Fuck you, I didn't choose it. I was destined for it. I was destined for it. Okay, now how many of you are cheating on the poll? You're, you're probably, you're probably ruining the good sanctity of the poll right now, but I want to say, 52% of you thought I was going to be in Slytherin? Hold on, I'm taking a screenshot of this shit. You guys are assholes. Oh my god. You thought I was gonna be... you, Chat, you thought I was gonna be the wizard supremacist bigots? Oh my god, chat. You guys are fucked up. So... 16% Ravenclaw. 8% Gryffindor. 26% Hufflepuff. And 49% Slytherin. You guys are fucked up, you know that? Bitch, wow. Called it, by the way. Oh my god. Just found this channel 15 minutes ago, and what I already feel like is even e what? Ian version of Pakora? I'm not half as talented as Pakora. So, anyways, there we are, chat. There we are. And now, to procrastinate playing the game, just a little bit more, just a little bit more, and to filter out the weak. Oh my god, I'm still lagging. I'm still lagging, what the hell? <laughs> it's build bear time. <laughs> it's build bear time, gamers! Oh, I need to end the poll. I had a plan for this. I had a plan for this, Chad, in order to... commemorate... this glorious occasion. <laughs> build bear that's right! That's right! I'm gonna go on the build a bear. And you can't you can't customize. You can't customize these. There's like a customize button on some of them, but not on the house animals. But you know what, chat? Those are expensive. They are expensive. They are expensive. But I'm gonna add the raven to my bag. And you know what? And you know what? I'm gonna let you guys make some decisions. Oh, there's like the version with the scarf. Okay, well, I want the one with the scarf. I'll, I'll remove this other one in a bit. So there's, like, outfits. <laughs> there's, like, the snake is so ugly. <laughs> the snake is really fucked up, 
looking, Jet. The snake is really fucked up looking. I like how it just kind of... It, it's just kind of a pillar into a void. You know, usually snakes are connected to the rest of their body. But in this case, you know what? Let's just... Su just, just shove a pillar of a snake and then have like a little bit of a... Body wrapping around it. That's fine. That's fine. It looks fine. It doesn't look fine. It does not look fine at all. Get the snake. I don't want the snake. I didn't get sword and Slytherin, so we're getting the bird chat. It's a diglet. It kind of is. It kind of. It kind of is a diglet. Okay, so there's like um, herbology, mandrake bundle. There's the house robes. There's the Quidditch things. There's like a Hufflepuff hoodie. I don't know if the other ones have hoodies. I'm gonna let you guys decide. I'm gonna make a poll for if we should do the Herbology outfit. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I'm just gonna keep pronouncing it wrong just to piss the people off. Uh, the house roll or Quidditch costume. This is up to you, Chad. You get to decide his fate. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm making the poll. Okay, what main outfit? House roll. Herbology? Is that how you say it? Herbology? Why does herbology sound more right? You don't say herb, you say herb. Oh god, how do you spell quidditch? Quit, quit, quidditch. Um... And are the hoodies a thing? I feel like... I feel like I only see the Hufflepuff hoodie. Yeah, for some reason only Hufflepuffs have hoodies. Alright, there you go, chat. Place your bets. It's a snake? What do you mean snake? Oh my god, chat. The snake is so ugly. <laughs> Chat, the point was to get the to get the house animal. You guys are so fucking w snake. Oh my god, Chad, I'll get the snake. I'm not getting the scarf. I'm not getting the scarf that goes with it. But I'll get the fucking snake. Jesus Christ! No, go back. Fuck. At the bag. There we go. There. There's your fucking snake, Chad. Snake and scarf! What do you mean, snake and scarf? No! We didn't get sorted into Slytherin! What the hell, Jet? <laughs> We're not in Slytherin! We don't, we don't rep the enemy... The enemy gang's swag, Jet. You know, that sounded a lot cooler in my head. I was thinking like, Bloods vs. Crips. And I just ended up sounding like... <laughs> I just ended up sounding like a dork. We demand scar- What do you mean? He'll be cold! He can't be cold, Chad! He's a stuffed animal! Oh my god! <laughs> You're very hip, Pippa. Thank you. I know. I know I am. Okay, Chad. I'll get the fucking... Oh my god. You guys are so stupid. You guys are so stupid. You know that? Let's fix the bag. No! Stop it! Stop trying to add bonus shit! Wait, which one? Okay, so the add-ons are the one... Okay, let's get rid of this. Um... And let's get rid... Stop! Stop! <laughs> and let's get rid of... This one. There! Get the snake, rise of the dark lord, Pippa is inevitable. You guys are so weird. You guys are so weird, you know that? Okay, and it looks like house robe is wedding! Dun 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 dun! I do think the house robe is the coolest. I don't know, the Quidditch outfit just looks really dorky. The Herbology one... ...also doesn't look... ...Harry Potter related at all. Ah, uh, And we are going to do our house robe, chat. We're not... We're, wait, why can you customize this? How does that work? Why can't... Okay, whatever. Snake and scarf! I added it! I added it! Leave me alone! $19! $19, chat! $19 to put a little robe... ...on the fucking bird. And you know what? It's probably not even gonna fit. And that's not even including the pants. Oh my god. That's not even including the pants. Alright, chat. Next poll. Lower... ...clothes. Is it a boy bird? Or is it a girl bird? Or is it a femboy bird? Skirt? You need the snake and pants. The, the snake can't put on pants, you idiot. 
Look at it! Look at the snake! Look at how that works! There's no... You can't... You're stupid! You guys remember when JonTron was gonna voice a snake in pants? You remember that? I remember. Assuming genders. It's a stuffed animal! No pencil! Whoa. Did you know they actually sell Build-A-Bear panties? You can, you can buy panties to put on your bears. I feel like that's a step too far. I think putting little clothes on the stuffed animals is one thing, right? That's cute. That's endearing. Putting panties on your Build-A-Bear? That just feels weird. That, that feels, that feels weird. That feels like a gift you would get from a really creepy uncle. As like a warning sign. Alright, you guys are voting the skirt. Okay. So now... To go with our $19 robe... We'll add an $8.50 skirt! <sighs> it's like the price of shopping for real clothes. Jesus Christ. We're not doing shoes. The bird does not need shoes. I don't even think shoes will fit. There's a wand. Oh, and there's a light up wand. Okay, so chat, there's a light up wand. And there's a black wand. Choose the bird's wand, chat. Choose for the snake. No! What do you mean? Black wand. Light up. Shoes, no shoes. The snake needs shoes. No, the snake does not need shoes. The, sh the snake can't put shoes on. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to be the one to inform you. See that? That's a notable absence of legs. That means... No feet. So if there's no feet... Where do you put the shoes, chat? It has a tail, though? Do shoes go on tails, chat? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Don't you appraise it. Don't be aimless. What do you mean? It's a snake! <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh my god. You guys really want the fucking shoes? Chat, this order is gonna come to like over a hundred dollars. I'm gonna spend over a hundred dollars. I didn't even want to play the Harry Potter game, and now I'm gonna spend over a hundred dollars on goddamn Build-A-Bear Harry Potter shit. Well, the poll is close between the black one and the light up, but light up is just barely winning. The light up one is just barely winning. Oh, now it's 50-50. Jesus Christ. It can rest on top of the shoes? <laughs> You're very weird. You're very weird. You paid 400 bucks for Neko Para figures. Yeah, but that was anime girls. This is Harry Potter. <laughs> How's that filter working out for you? Mmm. Mmm. Snakes love shoes. I don't... I don't think snakes have opinions on shoes either way, to be honest. Chat, can you break the bowl? It's... it's... it's tied. It's tied. Please stop being tied. Chat, vote on the poll. Vote on the poll. You could be the one that makes the difference. Alright? You know how, like, with normal elections, they tell you, right? That you need to get out there and vote. Because every single vote counts. But then you don't go out and vote. Because actually, you know that your vote doesn't count. Right? It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, it's all rigged anyways. And the people have no real say. This is like that. But no government interference. So your vote actually does matter. So if you want the light up wand... With sound, by the way! Hold on, let's listen to it. What does it sound like? Is that it? It's so quiet. Okay. Oh, it does make more noises. I got kind of jump scared there. Is it just me or the noise is kind of creepy? Ah. 
50 50 get both? You guys are insane. You guys. You guys are. It's 50. I'll, I'll just get both. You guys aren't. You guys are fucked up, you know that? You guys are fucked up. You guys. I guess the snake gets one and the, the bird gets one. <laughs> That's before shipping. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then there's a bunch of other stuff. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we gotta do a poll for the shoes. Oof, that number. Oof, that number. Pippa get four, two for each. No, what? What do you mean? You can't dual wield ones! This isn't like dual wielding pistols. It doesn't work like that. I don't think anyways. You know what? Maybe that actually is Harry Potter lore. Maybe you actually can dual wield them. Okay, shoes. Combat boots. Uh... Bearland? And then the other one is Sparkle Flats. We'll just put Sparkle. Uh, it is a real thing? It is a real thing! Wait, dual wielding wands is a real thing? Are you serious? How come, like, big staves aren't a thing in Harry Potter? Right? You would think that would be a thing. Like, big stabs. Snake clothing fun. Oh, thank you. Sorting hat for snake? Oh my god. What about double wand staff? Like, Darth Maul. See, now you're... Now you're getting creative. I... I... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it looks like combat boots are winning by a landslide. I feel like the Berlin boots look better, but all right, all right, we'll do the combat boots. We'll do the combat boots. Okay, Dumbledore mad spinning. What? What do these words mean? Okay, and the bag. <coughs> do we add? Do we add the acceptance letter chat? Buy the train. Buy the train for the snake. What do you mean buy the train for the snake? Yes. Uh, uh, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. Did I add the other one? I think I did. Sorting hat, yes or no? Sorting hat, yes or no, chat? Pippa, no. Go all in. Oh, this one's kind of mixed. Had the snake. Why the sorting hat specifically for the snake? I'm I'm curious. Yes, and <sighs> we're done. We're done. We're done. 166 dollars, Chad. We're done. No more. No more. It's it. We're done. We're done. That was that was all of it. That was all of it. They're very cute. There's some there's some other cute stuff. There's like a blue deer and a blue otter. And, uh, Dobby? I remember this guy, he dies. And... A phoenix? I think? His name is Fox? There's some cute stuff, but we're done! We're done! More? No, no, no more. No more, no more. No more. Spoiler! What do you mean, spoiler? The movies are so old now, Jack. The movies are so old now! What are you talking about? You know what? I'm scared to scroll down on here. We have 10 items in the bag. Jesus Christ. We got the bird... ...with the scarf. We got the snake with the scarf. We got the Ravenclaw house robe. The black wand. The light up wand! The acceptance letter. The sorting hat. And the Hogwarts Express. So, I'll do another stream... ...showing those off... ...at a later date. I don't know how long it's gonna take to ship all this shit! Snake needs a The snake doesn't need a letter! You need the monster book. I don't need the monster book. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. The skirt. Did I not add the skirt? Oh, we didn't add the skirt. Why did the skirt not add? Add the bag. Okay, there we go, Ted. Now we're $174. Oh, 
The monster book in the other. What the fuck? The snake needs a broom. You guys are so stupid. You guys are so stupid. How's the snake gonna use the broom, chat? How's he gonna sit on the broom? Is he gonna sit on it like a tree python? The skirt for the snake? No. Broom for. Okay. Okay, what does that put us at? Do we just go to two hundred dollars, chat? Do we just <laughs> do we just do we just say fuck it? It just just round up to two hundred. Love potion for the bird. Stop it! Stop! Well, add the fucking love potion. One hundred ninety three. I'll add the fucking book. It's tax deductible. No, it's not! Actually, maybe it is. Okay, there you go. There you go. $205, Dad. $205. We're done! We're done! The order? <sighs> Chat, we're at $200. Last poll. Last poll. We're done. We're done after this. I'm setting the game up. I'm setting the game up, chat. We're we're done. There's um should I should I link the accounts? Can we hit three hundred dollars? No. No, we can't hit three hundred dollars. I'm not letting it get to three hundred dollars, chat. It's probably gonna be three hundred dollars after shipping if we add the fucking otter. Game? What game? Game? There's a game? Hold on. Let me do the account link thing. Oh god, did that just open? Oh, that opened the wrong fucking window. Women spending! Women spending! You guys are the ones! Women spending! It's you guys! You guys are the ones who are like, Oh, but, but, the, but the snake needs a skirt! The Jesus Christ. The, but the snake needs the shoes! But the snake! But the snake! I didn't even go into this intending to get the fucking snake! You guys made me get the snake! That wasn't me! That was you! Stop blaming me! What the hell did I just walk into? Extortion! You walked into extortion! I did nothing to deserve this! Oh god. Loud. Okay, hold on. I'm doing the account connection stuff. I tried doing the account connection before, but for some reason you have to do like the um Oh, there we go, connected. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, close out of that. There we go. For some reason you have to do like the um what am I call it? You have to do the house sorting and stuff ahead of time. Oh my god, you guys voted 76% order. Okay. Okay, we'll add the otter. There's the otter that makes sounds. And then there's the normal otter. What are the sounds? I'm gonna lose my mind if it just makes the stupid wand sound again. Sound? It's the wand sound again. We're not doing the sound. It's annoying. That w that is so annoying. If I hear that go off in the middle of the night, if I'm cuddled up to that in bed, and that shit goes off, I'm gonna think that I'm about to die. That sounds like horror music. I'm good. I'm good. At the back. Okay, we're done. Get Dobby. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. No more. No Dobby. No Do Dobby's dead. We can't even have Dobby. He's dead. He's dead, chat. What sounds does he make? Now I'm curious. Ah! Do they have the sound preview? They're smart. They didn't add the sound preview for him. 
I bet it sounds terrible. Spoilers? How old is- how old is Dobby dying? What is that, like 10 years? That was 10 years ago, chat. Move on. Move on. If you didn't watch the movies... That's on you. Okay, let's put... The game up now. Maybe? Hold on. Um... I think it's... Oh, there we go. Blah, 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 blah. Dobby, are we right? No, Dobby! Dobby's dead! We can't have Dobby! He's dead! He's dead! He's gone! He's kaput! There's no Dobby! Dobby's dead! But Dobby loves Pippa! But Pippa does not love Dobby because Dobby is a corpse! It's game time! It's game time! We're almost at the hour mark! We haven't even touched the game! Dobby! Dobby dies a ligma! We demand Dobby! No, you don't! No, you don't! You don't demand Dobby! You don't demand Dobby, chat! I gotta cut you off at some point. You guys will bleed me dry. Dobby deserved it, to be honest. I don't remember a goddamn thing about Dobby. He's like a slave, right? He's a slave, and you have to give him a sock to set him free. Right? But I don't remember how he dies or why. Does somebody just kill him? Doesn't he go free? Dobby goes free. I remember that one scene, right? Give Dobby a burial. No! No! Dobby Paul! No! No, you don't want Dobby! Stop it! He gets shivved! By who? Dobby was annoying at the end. Dobby was always annoying. What are you talking about? Heroic sacrifice? He got shot. What did he do? Like, what got him killed? Pippa killed Dobby. I did not. We can't love a corpse. That's necrophilia, and that's gross. That's true, chat. Dobby Paul. No! No! Look at that. Oh, cool. We got the uh, Onyx Hippogriff mount. Cool. Cool. Dark Arts pack? What is all this stuff? I don't, what the fuck? Cool. Cool. Look out! Pippa, that's like a whole plot. Chat, I don't remember anything that happens after, um... The, the Olympic Games one. The Wizarding Games. What's it called? Goblet of... Yeah, Goblet of Fire. We were just talking about it. After that, complete blank. I actually missed the one that Umbridge was in. And I... I... I, I had no idea. Somehow... Like... My family just completely missed that one. We were we were going to the theater to see them as they came out. And we missed that one. And then I was watching it. I, I was doing like a marathon of all the Harry Potter movies. And I just I just had not seen that movie. And I was like, what the fuck? Anyways, we're pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor... Eleazar? El Elazar? Eleazar? Fig! To help you home your... Home. Home your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Why is that... Why is that an exception? Wait, what? However, due to your unique circumstances... What? Wait, so did we cast magic outside of school? Laser? Elazar! Elazar! Okay. I see what you did there. What? You're a fifth year. What does that mean? You're starting out as a fifth year? What does that mean? You're old? Oh, we're going in like late. Jen, I'm not gonna lie to you. This game has fucking hideous player models. The character models in this chat, uh, in this game chat, just make every character look like a dude. You're 15? They all look like men. Am I crazy? They all have literally the same face. 
And it's man face. It looks like shit. Yeah, it's the UK. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I just... Like, it doesn't even matter. There should just be a random button. Because they all look the fucking same. All of them, Jet. All of them! Do we just... Is this female? Can we do pink hair? There's like glasses and stuff. Should we be a nerd check? Because we're Ravenclaw. No pole? Are British people? What? Close enough? Female enough? Close enough. Oh god, she's got like spots on her face. What the fuck? Ooh. Ooh, we got we got granny glasses. Oh, I'm kind of blocking it. Eh. There we go. Who all the nerd emojis? You guys are nerds. You guys are the nerds! Um... Oh, there's hairstyles? Oh, there's the hair color! Oh! Oh, there is pink! How do I get the shit off my face, though? Oh god, the pink hair looks terrible, just like in real life. Chad, I've never seen pink hair look nice on anybody in real life. That shit does not work. Is it complexion? No. This is like... <sighs> I feel like I'm playing Skyrim again. I remember playing the Skyrim, um... Intro. And I remember... Character customization. It felt like no matter what button I pressed, everything just looked the same. No matter how much I tried to customize my characters in Skyrim, they always looked the same. And I fixed that by downloading mods that made everybody look like supermodels. And you know what, chat? It makes the game objectively better. When everybody is pretty in game, chat, it looks so much fucking better. Oh, eye color. Can we have pink eyes? There we go. Skyrim modded is good. It is so good. It is so good. Except when you're Argonian. I don't think I ever really modded the Argo. You don't even see Argonians in Skyrim much. Was wonderful. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It's kind of quiet, isn't it? A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Chat, what is Hogsmeade? That's the that's the snowy place, right? I remember that's in one of the movies. I think it's in. Is it Prisoner of Azkaban? There's uh, everybody's going to Hogsmeade, right? But um, it's like, but Harry, he can't go. So he goes anyways, and there's like the- there's like the map in the invisibility cloak. Just normal... Pippa! Pipkin! That's right! That's right! We tweeters, take note! If you're gonna shit on me, my name's Pippa! My name's Pippa! Pipkin's my last name! I know you're very entry-level to the VTuber community! But you see, VTuber community uses Japanese! Uh, name format? Because VTubing is like a Japanese thing originally. So it, it goes last name, first name. There you go. Got you something new. Witch or wizard? I don't think this matters, does it? Let's go. It fits the setting, surprisingly. Why is my skirt so long? It's so ugly. It appears we are almost ready to depart. You look like a goblin, you're fucking hideous. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Chat, I'm predicting the plot I'm right now. Sure, I've never seen anyone this man is a so goblin in disguise, and he's leading the goblin uprising. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. She looks like Harry Potter, but female. Oh. Barely. <laughs> Eliazar! Glad my rather cryptic. He winked at me. Oh my god! What you're finding us. Her face looks like on car. Likely to find destination than this. Nailed it. Wait, correct? I may have miscalculated. Spoilers? On my first try. I got it. Quite some fit ago is in the West End. It's been much too long. British people laugh weird. I must say I. Don't tell us. Not speak here, Eliazar. Eliazar. Of course. Sounds like a Pokemon. Why don't we speak? Look at the bird. 
We have a start of term feast and a sorting <coughs> ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. I after you. They're saying words, but I'm not hey, processing any of it yet. To the castle? <coughs> Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. We're going to Hogwarts! Maybe? <laughs> oh, chat. I have a can of soda. I have a can of Coca Cola! Wow! Yeah. Oh god. Mike. Why, why is he pretending that there are horses there? Were there... Not horses? Is magic we don't have to animate horses? What? Chad, I'm, I'm, I wasn't even paying attention. Glitch maybe? Oh, maybe it was a glitch! Maybe there were supposed to be horses. No? No horses. Ghost horse? Destros? <laughs> Just oh. barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? It's me! A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. Ah. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. That doesn't seem oh, right. Why have I? Of course, as the How? other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, one on one time with teacher. Mentor. Wow! Professor Fig is not only that doesn't seem right though. It teacher, seems like it seems like plenty of people would be admitted late, right? Because aren't there like wizards that are born to like human people? To flattery. I dare so say it's like one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> no. Uh, that's what Hermione is, isn't she? She's like, she's like, she's a wizard, but her parents are are humans. Uh, opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really that's, is. Yeah, that's the mudblood thing. That's the whole reason. The that's the whole reason that she gets like attacked in like the first movie. Threat, and it was your wife, Eleazar. Eleazar. Who alerted me to his activities months ago. Oh you? my God, her teacher's single. How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. You can't before say I that! Respond, what can I, I say? Muggles? Received this. Muggles, hey! It was Muggles, the last out! Thing she sent me. Kill all Muggles! It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably we need a goblin there. <gasps> I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. I'm gonna kill it all the muggles like and then I'm gonna kill the goblins. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. I don't either. Nor do I. My character's schizophrenic. She's just like me, boss. Oh! Ah! Beard. How did you wait? <gasps> we did. He's dead. There's no seat belts. This is the 1800s. They hadn't invented seat belts yet. Oh, he's so dead. Oh my god. Birds! Early retirement. Is he okay? No, he's dead. Our birds are dead too. Horses? I don't know what those were. Oh no! No! This is gonna be. I'm predicting. I'm predicting. The main story is going to be trying to find the. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna predict. Oh, crispy critters! I was gonna predict that. Um. Oh, red squirrel! Sorry, sorry. I'm getting. I'm getting sidetracked again. I was gonna predict that like the main game would the main plot would be trying to find the key. But maybe like the goblins had the key. But never mind. Take this. 
It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will I'll predict it instantly wrong. Please, no more crispy critters. Crispy critters. This healing juice sure packs a punch. Oh my god. I hope the game what calls them consumables, like oh, Forspoken does. I can't believe he. He's drugging her? What the hell got Whoa! into that damn thing? I'm alone in a cave with my painter and he's giving me mysterious potions! Typical dragon would never. Professor? Typical dragon would never. Sir, but in. 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 Goblet of Fire! I'm not sure. With the. But there's the a dragon! The was clearly a port key. Port key? And it tries to kill people! I'm enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. So that's. that's a lie. That's wrong. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. Can't we're so ugly. This port key. <laughs> why? We're so fucking ugly, chat. Oh my god. Why are the character models so bad? There's different types of dragons. Ah. Ah. The dragon is defending his eggs. Where's your gun? You know, where is my gun? Oh yeah, we're British. You're not allowed to have guns. <laughs> That's ass command! How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. That's ass command, Jack! It's somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roots. Do you the think the porky was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that porky to George for a reason. And I believe ah. that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. Ah. If you're sure you're all right, that's not asking. Wouldn't oh. mind indulging me. I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Dad! Let's see if Why is it so angry? It's kind of pretty. However no, it's not. Faded it may be. No, it's not. This game looks like. I mean, it doesn't look like shit. The game does not look like shit, right? Mind your but at the same time, at the same time. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? It's just kind of eh. A good question. Miriam spent years it's okay. searching it's okay. for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. The game took a poopy because your PC is weak. Ancient no, it's, magic. No, no, it's not. Yes. No, it's a not. My computer's okay. What are you talking about? A few that seems I have a good computer. What's he talking about? I'm not paying attention. Hogwarts Can we auto pass? Built by and is itself a stronghold no. of that ancient magic. Hit potato PC, no. Came into possession of the I'm gonna push you off. Come here. But I am certain what if I just to do with that search? Shut oh, that's the part. I'm trying to this way. I don't wanna go to school, I'd rather kill myself! You can't make me go! <laughs> oh, Gryffindor iconography. I see how it is. Gryffindor supremacy. But sir, shame. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand what why such powerful magic <sighs> disappeared from the wizarding world. Can I kill myself here? The good it could do. But magic is no different than Can any I... power. What really matters is the one no? that wields oh, it. No. damn it. What if I just is that ice? If I just it's leave. not cold enough here. No. It appears to be a Damn. sort of enchantment. I hate invisible walls. Same. Someone wanted to block. To the sub QA testing. I can't Let's help it. I'm bored. One work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Avada Kedavra. Tap. Oh. Oh. That's kind of satisfying. It's pretty snappy. Excellent. Professional QA tester, I am. Use your camera to select an active target. Okay. Ah! Oh, no! Can I go up here? Rougher than I'd expected. No. Can I kill myself here? Ooh! Oh, I see potential! Oh, I see potential! No, hold on. I bet you, chat. Chat, I bet you. I bet you. With enough finessing, we can at least get somewhere we're not supposed to be. Maybe not. Put that a balance, Pippa. I would love to. Wow! Wow! That's so cool! 
Yeah, what about... Hang up here? Come on, Chad, I wanna break the game. Oh, can I, can I, oh, can I sequence break? Can I sequence break? Hold on. What if I, what if I go, eh? Eh? I just had to walk five feet. I just... I just Wait had to walk five now. feet, Chet. Just ahead. <laughs> I could have got to where I wanted to be... ...by walking five feet. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm being a little obnoxious. <laughs> Steady yourself! Raven, call by the way! <laughs> Impera! 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 That's like that song, Jack! Or Sabaton! Don't get suspended on the first week of school. Whoa! You can't suspend me if I just kill myself first! God, this is so fucked up. Almost there! Almost there! They sound so silly, chat. I refuse to believe that real human beings talk like this. It's just too silly. Chat, have you ever played a video game and a British person has come on to voice comms? Why would someone have I've never witnessed it. They value I their think privacy. when British people are that playing video games and stuff, or communicating reason. with outsiders, they just drop the act, chat. They just drop the act because they don't have place. to fit in with other British people anymore. It's like, it's like Disney mascot characters. Taking off the costume, right? The mini-map shows your surroundings. Press and hold V to toggle quest details. Okay. The UK is as real as Wyoming. True! F to investigate. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Oh my god! Mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Oh. A good friend of mine was British. I say he was because he moved to America. Because he is based. Very smart. British is just a state of mind. You can change it any time. The moment you drop that fucking accent, you can be American. You don't have to be confined to the hell of being British. What do I do? Explore the ruins. Oh, now the game wants me to explore, but now I don't want to! Pipkin, clip always testing boundaries. Yeah. Ah! Now I don't want to explore. Now I want to stand around. I want the game to handhold me. This may have been his home. What kind of jackass puts a statue to themselves in their own fucking house? What next? It's like showing over there. But how do I get over there? What if I just... What if I just leave? Can I just go the other way? Do I like... Shimmy around, maybe? Nope, that's not an option. Oh, can I kill myself over here? Wait, what is that? What is that? What are those, chat? It's like a little bird and a little voodoo doll. Look at them! He's got corn hair. I can't get like a good angle, but he's got like a thing of popcorn. It's a reference? Oh, it's an Easter egg. They're so cute. It's Niffler and the Mandrake. You guys see it? There's a chest. Oh, oh my God. Good eye. <laughs> good eye. <laughs> Um. Can we loop back around the other way? No. Um. Blind Pippa, leave me alone. <laughs> Do we break all the pots, maybe? Alright, backseaters. It's your time to shine. North of the statue. Which way's north? That way. Over here? Somewhere? Is there something to investigate over here? Hold on. Oh! Oh! Was that a thing? No, those were birds. Minimap. I have a minimap. Yeah, but like... Oh! Oh! Ravenclaw, by the way. Ravenclaw, by the way. <laughs> that in 
enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be? Blind! Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone! Listen! Listen! What's this? Professor Fig! I I'm in a strange new place, Chad. I'm trying to take in all the all the sites. I'm learning about wizard stuff, alright? A mini map. That's Oh, oh, hello. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone? Hurry up, baby Raven What room? Me chan I don't see anything. Me chan went at me in Discord. She was like, you better be Ravenclaw. But Michan, Michan, you're not, you're not even Ravenclaw, Michan. You were, you were in Slytherin, were you not? Were you not? Oh, Hufflepuff? No? No, her Hufflepuff thing is, um, that's a different thing. Don't kill her like that. Mmm, called out, Tenma! Called out! Oh, interact with magic. I'm not even paying attention to the game. Oh, wake the cavern. Godric's heart. <gasps> Where are we? I don't believe it. All right, XQC, it's time for stream. You can check everything. I heard this game was a puzzle game. Big nerd. What? Hello. Hello. You can call 100%. Hell yeah. Get that avocadabra the chat. What? Sick burns, Tenma! I have no idea what you're saying, but sick burns! <coughs> Chest? Oh, I missed it. <coughs> ah! <coughs> that thing's fucking it ugly. Ooh. Uh, uh. Just a moment. <laughs> <coughs> You know what? I think it's okay we're killing these things. They're pretty fucking ugly. <laughs> I think we should genocide them. Welcome it just makes sense. Hi. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. How does he know? The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. They're so puntable, they are. This Look at way, them. Then. Look at him. He's so short. Stay close. That, like, your center of gravity, right? You can kick him. Like, right in the chest. Oh! Knock him the fuck out. After you. Ugh, his arms are so long. This is cool, though. The train thing, I and remember this. inside the car. If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> I remember the card thing. It's like a Willy Wonka kind of sequence. It's like a it's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Do you remember? It goes through like a bunch of crazy stuff. There's like a dragon. There's like there's like different lands and stuff. Hundreds. In fact, kick him off the card. I don't think I can. Way to vault number twelve. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vault you see. Ah! PS1 game PTSD? I had I had one of these games on PlayStation 2. I think it was Sorcerer Stone. You want to take a breath? Want to take a breath? Ah! Spice Ride! washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Well, what if I cast an enchantment on myself? Called These are the Poncho. That were passing now. How do also you known as it? raincoat. Vault number twelve was What are you gonna do then, bitch? What if I wear a raincoat? How are you gonna wash away the enchantments? The yeah, El Poncho. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Super lag. Indeed, super lag. Panjo. El Panjo. Magic, I guess. Oh, okay. UK Disneyland sucks. What's so bad about UK Disneyland? <laughs> uh, vote 12. So Momentous ugly. day. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Don't give me On shit. Ah. 
behind you because I read it. Go back. British police officer. Mm. Thick sideburns. Professor, mm -hmm. the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw mm -hmm. on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just what was that? that goblin back there. You have them big ass ears and you can't hear? The oldest sex you were documented with $100 renos. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I missed it. I'm oh, sorry. But thank you. I'll try to catch up with Super Chats, uh... On like a dedicated super chat rating stream. I like this Reddit Universal. Oh Jesus! Monkey standing yeah. with 150. Jesus! He's all forgive him. And actual glowy. They're all glowies. When was the last the time goblins this are glowies. Was a goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. Aww. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Is this from the movies? They go to a vault in the movies, right? But was it this one? They're so oh, short, they are. Thank no? you for your help. Not this one? Yes? This is a prequel. Yeah, this is like in the 1800s or something, isn't it? Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday. Yet! It's from a hundred years ago. Yeah, Harry's wall. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not Ooh. sure. Sir. There's gonna I be drivers in the here. Instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. This is unlawful imprisonment! <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Mm. Let me think. This there is before be Dumbledore does the game? Mm. What? Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? I'm sorry, what yes. was that statement? A revealing charm. <laughs> no time like the present. Let's see what we're missing. Best of luck, we? thank you. You're not my rights, goddammit! Steady your wand and guide it along the path guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion. Aw, oh, the this is a lot. Okay. Oh! Oh god! Ah! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! I get it! Man, that was a hard R. Cast Revelio. Revelio. There! I saw something! Move a bit closer and try to. Ah! <laughs> Bada bing! No? Cast Revelio. Oh! Well, that's a start. Ravioli, that ravioli. Game? I don't suppose you see a way to. Whoa. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow Whoa. as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover Jeez. the secret of this vault. Lead not ready. the way. What's in the pocket only? Oh, you can go up. Ravenclaw! <laughs> Lumos! This oh. is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn oh. our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. How do I use Lumos? But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no All right, see ya. if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I've got my own light. It's on a little bit of a cooldown, but you know, I'll find my way. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. But what happens if I do? This is fine. You abandoned Professor Fig! Quest failed. Try again. Of course you do this! <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, of course? Listen, Ravenclaw is curiosity. Yes. I'm just in character. This is no ordinary I don't fruit. like figs. I figs are the worst fruit. They really are. Way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? I don't even know what they taste like, but I know that they come in like raisin form, right? 
I they do. have like the raisin ones. But and they put them in like they put them in like um stay close. There will be the cakes no separating if things go poorly, not out of Gringotts. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the fruit cakes? I died in the tutorial. I didn't die. I failed the quest. It's different. They're eight here? No, they're not. Death count one. That doesn't count as a death! Big Newtons. Those things are nasty. I see something up ahead. What is it? A Big Newtons. Again, but on the floor. Fool you. Like sun chips. They're just as unhealthy as sun chips, right? But sun chips and stuff, they try to trick you into thinking, but where's the healthy option? And it's like a, it's like you're eating them out of guilt. But they're just as unhealthy! They're just as unhealthy! You're suffering for no reason! Don't be fooled! Oh, there's a dead body in here. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? The ground was swirling for this yes, guy sir, when I'm he fine. drunkenly swam into this you seem to have frozen lake. Floor to change. Ah! Don't go out of my thing, Twin Boy. Sorry, I missed your stream on weekdays. I work nights. Just want to say I appreciate everything you do as a streamer and VTuber. Pippa la. Thank you. Careful now. What? Careful now. What? Uh, do I use the spell? There must be something to that reflection. I presume this ah. is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Oh. oh. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. How? Hmm. Perhaps you should pass Lumos. This? Oh. So this woman was going to basically kill her, um... Partner? Because he would have gotten stuck in here? Because he can't see the glowing? Only we can? Nimpaterling, otherwise eat the fig newtons. I don't want to, they're disgusting! <laughs> Lumos creates a light at tip of your wand. Okay, cool. Lumos. Well done. Ah! Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! That's kind of cool. Lumos. Lumos spam meta? Ah! Oh, she was trying to kill her husband. Oh, no! Look out! Ah! What if I don't do it? What are you gonna do if I just don't hit it? Apparently nothing. Apparently nothing! Apparently it's not a quick time event! It's just an event. Potato. Akio. That's said no. Levio. It's Levio Saw, not Levio Saw! What if I just let him do all the work? I'm gonna play with my light. I'm gonna run off in the corner and play with my light. My teacher can all, can do all the work. Oh, fuck! I don't need you. I have a light. Are the spells gendered? I don't know. Maybe I was high. Oh, fuck! Review your objectives. <laughs> <laughs> the game is getting mad at me, chat! <laughs> the game is getting mad- Oh, Jesus, thank you for the raid! 7192! Thank you, thank you! Thank you! Hello, Raiders! My name's Tutkinta! Thank you so much for the raid! I'm playing- I'm playing the uh, wizard game. I'm playing the wizard game. And the game is getting mad at me. It's getting mad, I'm not progressing in a timely manner. I'm just fucking around. I have a- I have a little lighter and I'm- <laughs> It's just- it doesn't- It doesn't- it, it's not happy with me. It's not happy with me. Ow! This game... You wouldn't kill a child! You... This game wouldn't kill a child. Are they... They're just gonna keep spawning. They're just gonna keep spawning. You wouldn't... You... You couldn't. This game wouldn't kill a child, chat. There's no way. There's no way. Tap G to heal. Look at that! Look at that! It won't let me die! It won't let me die, Chad! Look at that! It's getting mad at me again. Look at that! There's my health, Chad! My health? Gone! 
Game? Doesn't care. No. Oh. It's a bit of a delay. But apparently it will kill children. <laughs> Never mind, it will kill children. I tested it. Don't worry, I figured that out for you. Don't worry, death count too. <laughs> death count too! Okay, so how do I actually... Oh, fuck. So every time I see an attack, I press Q? Nice, okay. Who, who's next? Oh. Oh! Whoa! Stupefy! That's a... that's a song! So what did you learn? Oh! To pay attention! <laughs> I learned to pay attention! Fun fact! I've been playing the kid-killing game, shaking my head, I know. Chad, I remember, I keep... I don't know why I keep thinking of Skyrim while playing this. But I have another Skyrim story. When I, when I got Skyrim, and I first discovered console commands... I tried... I, I looked up console commands that would let you kill children. Because I hated that bitch Professor? at the orphanage. Professor Fink. Professor I hated them bitches at the orphanage. They're like... Good. I sure wish somebody would adopt me. So I tried to free them. From their painful mortal existence. Right, chat? I tried to kill them. And I looked up console commands that would let you kill children in Skyrim. And guess what, chat? Oh. Lumos. Where am I supposed to it's go? What that was a fucking lie. Did not work. What's happening? It didn't work. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I tried using the console commands to kill children in Skyrim, and it didn't fucking work. Danger worshipper Pippa? Hell yeah! My favorite quest in in oh, Skyrim. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Was Molag Bowls? Molag Bowl? I did that quest. I was like, I will follow you forever. You are... You are the most amazing being in the world. I will lay down my life for you. And guess what, chat? That was his only quest. You don't see any more of them in the game. That was your only chance. You don't get to... You, you tortured that man. I did, and I enjoyed it. Lava Jack the entire world. I love the Lava Jack one. My Lava Jack quest uh, glitched out for me. Oh, activate the statues. My Lava Jack... Oh, I gotta cast Corvelio first. Ah! Loud! Here? Oh god. Oh! It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. That's cool, combat's fine. Base Molag Molinjor. He was so cool! He was so cool. Part of the reason I wanted to play Elder Scrolls Online is because he has like, um... He has like more story stuff. But I don't think he actually has that much. And Elder Scrolls Online is actually a really good game. It's not good as like a MMO, but as like more Elder Scrolls, it's good. Reviewing your objectives. Oh! I need to be hitting them. It's actually, it's actually really well written. The only thing I didn't like is getting to the, to the Morrowind area, because everything's fucking sad. Oh god, that's slap. Everything is so sad when you get to the Morrowind area. In Elder Scrolls Online. It is just non-stop sadness. Hello, VTuber. How goes Wizard Game? Pretty good. This is your worst? ESO's lore is bad. You're so well written. I thought so. I really enjoyed the stories. I really enjoyed the quest lines in the ESO. I only stopped playing because they were making me depressed. ESO was disappointing. I disagree. Ow! I disagree. I think the thing that was disappointing about ESO was the actual um. Like the the dungeons and stuff. I don't remember what they're actually called. It's it gets it gets kind of. I don't know. The combat is so bad in that game. Chat. I'm not a fan of like the basic tab target, hit a button, done. 
Every every skill feels the ex feels the exact fucking same. Hip, are you actually enjoying the game? Are you on the warrior? Thank you for the two dollars. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm having fun dicking around. Christ Almighty, Pip has one hell of a multitasker. If by multitasker you mean brain dead and everything I do, I'm fantastic at multitasking. I can pay attention to literally nothing. All right. I can do five things at once if I don't have to pay attention to any of it. Been dealing over the five dollars. I'm guessing you don't know. He's also the king of. What? What? I'm gonna look that up. There you are. How did you? I'm gonna look that up. What That's cannon Pippa. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is looking real bad with the centaurs. <laughs> that is no mere basin. That is a pensive <laughs> for viewing men. Hold on, Moloch Bell, King of our world. Is it like, like? Rape as in like to to rape a kingdom, right? Like to 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 like destroy and devastate, or is right? No. Oh my god. Nope. He raped people to death. Okay. <laughs> okay, Molag Ball raped some virgins to death and then resurrected them. Okay. Impossible to follow. Wow. It only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the well, one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge. You wouldn't tell me you lose some. Anything to no, you know, not everyone can be perfect, all right, people? Uh, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge. <laughs> and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all we can. Sorry, what's going on in game? Hmm. A little bit of tomfoolery. I can say that. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. The glow! Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Oh. Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The CIA is magical. The magic that Miriam had. That's how they control existed. you. That's how they have. That's how I they have mind altering technology. Because they made a deal with the devil. Miriam and perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Ah. <gasps> to be them. It seems. Are the key to understanding why we were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were huh? they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in there. Our goblin is betraying us! I was right. Ranrock. Who? Oh. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. <laughs> Not only am I British, but also no I don't know how to speak. That. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. So ugly! <coughs> well, so is our teacher, to be Sir, fair. They have the key to the vault. <laughs> The Goblin Maker's gonna die! Next words wisely. They're gonna kill him! I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Oh no, he's gonna die. Sir, I, I must insist. Move to the right. I was to grant access only to one with the key, <laughs> and you did tell him. Ow! Damn. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Did he just call him a race traitor? I'm not giving you anything. Mm. Well, 
Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> You know, it's kind of hard to take the bad guy seriously when he's a little short goblin dude. It's very hard to take this enemy seriously. This is like... This is like a Lola... Oh, okay, there we go. Now he's summoning the real boss. This motherfucker is like a tiny... Beginning area boss. How am I supposed to be scared of him? He's short. That's the point, though? A lot of evil in one small package? No way out. Oh! Don't I underestimate him? Tenma's scary, she is. Tenma can be very scary. Don't mess with Tenma, she'll fuck you up. But that's why we love her. Are you right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Maybe you just suck! Where are we? I can turn the melody back over <laughs> It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability. Say what you want about Randock. He's dangerous and short. He's dangerous and Come. short. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Ancient armor goblins. Wouldn't that just be dwarves? <gasps> it's the song! Oh my god, it's the train! That's not the right bird. Nice. <laughs> right, I admit it, the music just got all the key now flowing in a pretty good song. It's a pretty good song. Could have went a little harder, right? It didn't it didn't really fully follow through. A little disappointing. You're a lizard, Barry. That's not my name. Almost two hours and we finished the intro. <gasps> I mean, that's kinda pretty. Castles are so cool, chat. Castles are like peak architecture. So amazing looking. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. What now, just happened? I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and and me. Of course, sir. Are we gonna be really Thank tall? You. And everybody else ceremony? is gonna be really short because we're a fifth year and they're all first years? Cause that's gonna be awkward. You're just gonna be the automatic laughing stock. Why is he confused? Why does he look like that? Why is he so pensive? Everyone else is a gabbling. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. I'll call him that. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. I thought Dumbledore is the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Huh? Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing the patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. He's like, he's <laughs> like, um. I'll be in touch. Fuck, what's his name? What's his name? I found the Leonardo DiCaprio. He looks like Leonardo DiCaprio in 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 Django, doesn't he? 
Professor Nani? Weasley. He looks so whimsically evil. Well, Am I crazy? You're just in time. He looks like Have Snape. You don't look anything like Snape. You're blind. <laughs> a little. Sort of? We already did the quiz online. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? I know, you're disappointed. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. You don't have a mouth. How are you talking? I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Neither. But we'll go with that. Forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Never heard these compliments Perhaps in my life. I'll take them. Ravenclaw. It just automatically pulled from the thing! It just automatically did the thing! Okay, well... Known for intelligence? That's me. Creativity? That's me. Wait! That's me, chat. How does he know? <laughs> you belong in... Ravenclaw! That's me! <laughs> One of the three is best. Shut up! <laughs> Everybody's clapping out of pity. They think I'm the slow kid. They think I'm here because I'm really fucking stupid. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. You are- SHUT UP! Enough! Quidditch was cancelled? It's canceled? not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. I do hate fun! You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. This I is how you can tell it's I'm British. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Because if this was America, they'd be like, everybody needs to sign up for Quidditch. We need to find out who here has even the slightest chance of going on to be in the NBA. Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show NFL, our whatever the fuck. their common room? I shall see to it, sir. We want to have somebody we can saying, brag about for generations to come. Fuck you academics. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. And be able to it, yeah. Mistress, it is my distinct <laughs> honor to show you... NQA, NQL, yeah, something like that. Right this way. Quidditch would be where the school gets its funding. Exactly! Exactly, this is so foreign to me. Wow, you know it's what? Quite uncommon Quidditch is pretty exotic. As a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle. Is that Ron Weasley's mom? I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Nicholas Flamel bankrolls the entire school. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non being what? can never have been. I don't get it. What the fuck does that mean? Well done. A ghost or a poltergeist? Now, but they both have and been. Get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning. They both have been. I don't understand this. Chat, Thank somebody you, explain. Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Thank you so much for the hundred dollar now. Thank you, Arthur. Truly, your natural Ravenclaw. I'm like, hey, my whole time to cheat. Am I right? Are poltergeist not unalive? What? This is a double negative. A non-being can never have been. But they have like been. Everyone's gone. 
They're not non-beings. They're just residual people. Those aren't real. But they're literally all over the school. Yeah. Oh, nice from it. Huh. Well, my room is boring as shit. Chudley cannons. Montrose magpies. So is Quidditch a big thing with Ravenclaws? Whoop! Potato PG. Chud spotted. Chud spotted. It's because you chose Raven. Huh? Everybody gets like different dorms, right? The Slytherin dorms are cooler? I heard it. I well, I didn't hear, but I saw some people in chat saying That's that the brilliant army, <laughs> brilliant. the the Hufflepuff ones are like a like a burrow. Can I just like bang bang? I wish I could kill people. Quidditch got cancelled. That's gotta be the ugliest goddamn animation! Holy shit! You too smoochy?! <sighs> can I do anything else? Oh, I can interact with you. Deep breath. What's up, nerd? Why, hello? Slytherin is Would the one like in the dungeon. So are you telling me Ravenclaw's got the most boring dorm rooms? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I don't know what any of that is. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's How nice did you to meet you, Amit. I'm staring off into the abyss. What the fuck? Like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Uh, how do I Professor skip dialogue? Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. How do I skip dialogue? I hope astronomy is on my schedule. I didn't skip it. it. I think I just chose a dialogue I have option. I good news for you. You are most definitely uh, taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the I have to see more of this nerd. Plus, a quality telescope Space bar? can show you things nope. you never right dreamed. Right click? Nope. I suppose I'll see you Escape didn't work. Then. Yes. Oh, and be seeing you. Well, that was annoying. Stuff him in the locker. I wanna. Oh! Woo! Oh, can I interact with that again? Not right either. Look how terrible that animation is. God. Oh, it's so ugly. Why did you even add that? <laughs> this should be interesting. What's this? What is that? Chat. What is that? Is that a? Is it a? Fuck. What are they called? Currents? Revenia. Let's go. Fuck. Lumos. How do I? <laughs> this should uh, be interesting. Later? Gotta light it later? Okay. Oh, it's fast travel. Oh. You're talking shit about me? This late. You're talking shit? Oh! I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but all my screens went black. Oh my god. Oh. Oh dear. Nope. Oh. Holy shit. Hello? We can hear you but not see. Oh no. The goblins shit! The goblins got me! <laughs> Everything crashed. Oh god. I didn't even save. Settings were probably too high, didn't change them. Oh dear. Oh dear. Cancel, no! This is truly magic. We can hear you. Hi. Hello from the other side. <laughs> that goblin is the biggest among the smallest and most vicious and ferocious creature under five feet tall. Did you love our encounter? Show some respect! Sorry. Ah, uh, just have a new dead in red voice. It's the big twitters that found us! Rex Tindor, thank you for the 382, a fellow Ravenclaw house may be, I say. Hmm, yes, quite. Um. 
Will it, uh, will it let me open anything back up? Or are we just kind of stuck here like this? Potato PC? Fuck you, my, my potato's not a PC. What? Well? Huh. Huh. I can't tell if things are booting back up or not. We know that you're a hacker! They hacked the stream! Oh my god! They hacked the stream, chat! Well? I think... Chat? I think, I think it's not booting back up. <laughs> hmm, my potato is not busy. <laughs> can you not see anything? I can, but I can't click on anything. I can't. I literally cannot click on anything. Oh! Welcome to the Microsoft 365 app. Okay, I don't care about that. Oh, well, let me close it. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's letting me click on stuff now. Uh-oh. Twitter, hey! This is all Twitter's fault! Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Not me forgetting the... Just the settings. So I wouldn't... Crash. <laughs> Don't worry, it auto saves. Oh, that's nice. A state of mind! Love so hard to find! Well... Chat? I think we might just be SOL. How are you doing tonight, chat? How are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> Must be running! Closing taskbar! Usually, usually I can launch like multiple things at the same time. Um, let me try. Hold on. Does anybody else get this glitch? In the You're good? That's good. You're tired? You should get some rest. Oh, quit or the goblins win! <gasps> oh, there we go! There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Person who said task manager has the right idea. Oh my god! I'm alive! Oh, not yet. Can we have your channel now? No, you can't have my fucking channel. How kind of question is that? Oh, that's the wrong thing. But now it's not. It's not. I'm not appearing on str on screen. I'm not appearing on um. God damn it! It's not working on OBS. You can't see me. I can't see you! Just kidding, I can't see you. Ah! Don't let the goblinos win! The goblinos are winning! Oh my god. Chat. It's like some sort of karmic injustice, you know? Where Peepa? Peepa's fucking dead. Okay, well, I have a big announcement in five minutes. <laughs> Stall champ for five minutes. Kusada! Thank you for the one thousand! New PC fun. I don't need a new PC. I just... I just need to get maybe like a fireproof box. And I'll get a... I'll get a... I'll get a... I'll, I'll get the, 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 the 1480s. Or whatever the fuck they were called. I already forgot. And um... Yeah. We'll just... We'll just install one of those bad boys. Stack up some CPUs. Like 10 of them. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. 4090s. There we go. 4090s. I remember that. My brain's fried. Let me alone. Ah, not another announcement, please! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Holy shit, I'm alive! Get a Starforge PC, Peppa. Well, if Starforge wants to give me a PC, I'll use it and I'll put their little logos on my stream and stuff, but... I don't think that's an option! Peppa, I'm back! 
Hello, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you? She lives. We can see you now. You can. Hey, bye bye. Hello, Panjo. School 4090. Have I get a thread, Rabbi? I didn't think it was the ten dollars. I did. <gasps> Dang it! No. Why do I see some people saying no? Huh? No? Huh? What's up with that? What's up with that, huh? Huh? Tell Grandma you love her. Not good thing about the total PC death is in effect. Not good thing about the 241. Hope that these... Twitter... Don't cause you trouble. Dan Trailing, you do Delete system 32, make your computer go faster. Angry Owl is killed! It is angry Owl. He's so angry. He's so angry. I said yes this time. Good. You better have. Maybe you read Super Chats. The <laughs> fuck they were about the 1481. Milan! Then Mario thing can be Survivor thing was too Now I need to play Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we could get a little bit farther in, but you know. It is what it is. It is what- What's the owl's name? Tell me, Pepsi. It's up to you guys to come up with a name. It's up to you guys. You guys gotta come up with it. I don't know what to- I don't know what to name it. Your big announcement is giving me anxiety, Peppa! Ooh, what could it be? What could the announcement be? Ooh! It's not bad, don't worry. I mean, maybe it is bad! That's why you gotta stick around and find out! Ooh! I'm kind of tempted to try launching the game again, but I feel like that's just asking for trouble and it's just going to crash again. I feel like I should maybe just take some time tomorrow or later tonight to try and uh, adjust the settings and make sure it runs. <sighs> so, we're going to have a uh, Bit of an early night, I guess. We're gonna have a bit of an early night. We're just gonna call in here. We're just gonna call in here. We got to see our dorm room. We did the sorting hat thing. All right. All right. Understandable. Probably restart before trying again. I think I need to restart my computer. My it, it not because now it's like when I try to type into like the taskbar. Right? Not the, uh, the task bar? I don't know what it's called. When I go to, like, the, the, the thing where you type to search for it to bring up other stuff, it's not bringing up any icons or anything. It's not showing me any recommendations. It's just, um... It's, it's... How do I explain this? It's... It'll auto-complete my sentence, but it won't, um... Bring anything up. Sounds fine, Ravenclaw. Damn right I'm a Ravenclaw! Alright. Alright. Well, I guess I'm gonna... Hit the Haven. In this... In this comfy! In this comfy! Pipkin Peppa! 3.33 birthday blanket! Guess I'm gonna... Guess I'm gonna hit the hay for the night. Using this blanket. Oh, what's that? You didn't know? You didn't know that this blanket is, is a thing? You didn't, you didn't know about the Pipkin Peppa 3.33 birthday blanket? Because Pipkin Be Peppa's birthday is tomorrow. Wow. Da, 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 da. Now you know. Now you know. Look at it. Look at it. Look at all this merch. Oh, fuck. I grabbed the wrong thing. Ah, oh, no! I was trying to be comical, but instead I disrupted it! Okay. <gasps> wow! Look at all this amazing merch! Oh my god! Now available for pre-order. <laughs> Let me sniff it. We have... Birthday prints. Oh my god! Birthday keychains. Oh my god! Slipkin slippers. Oh my god! Keep your little toesies warm! More prints. Oh my god! The Peppa Blanket! Oh my god, you can bundle up with that and with the slippers! Oh my god! And the desk mat! Ah! 
Oh my god! They updated the desk mats, by the way. I complained that the desk mats were shit. I, I, I compared them to the ones from Uwu Market. I was like, our desk mats are shit. Get new ones. Why well, didn't say get new ones? But management did it. They got new ones. So there we go. Here's the link. Check out the merch. It's not the hoodie, but it's close enough. Yeah, it's a start. It's a start. Oh my god! Does it come with authentic Pippa mold? No, it doesn't. No. Finally, something to contain my dogs. What? What? <laughs> what? I think this desk mat is gonna be one of the fancier ones anyways. Our old desk mats sucked. They didn't have any grip to them. They were just like a... They were just like a smooth, flat surface and it sucked. It was too, like, plasticky. So the game killed your PC. What's your PC... Oh my god, Chikaze, thank you for the two dollars. Maybe me taking a load of all the pivot bars. Thank you! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna call it there. I kinda suck. I was kinda into it. I was actually kinda into it. You know, the game's, the game's a little bit interesting. It's kinda cursed looking. How do you guys feel about the idea of me installing a shit ton of mods to make the game look better? How about I install a shit ton of mods to make the game look better and we do a part two of this and we actually get deeper into the game. But the characters don't look ugly anymore. How about that? How does this game run with mods? There's gotta be like aesthetic mods out by now, right? It's been like a month. Hey, Peppa, wow! Where's your cookie thing, dude? There's more Peppa stickers. There's like two... My pink AR needs. I mean, yeah, I'll pass that idea on the management. Salty Raps and I'm like, happy birthday, Pebbars. Jason, for those renames for the end of stream. Uh, no. There's way too many of you. Come on, Ma, let's go. Hell yeah, come on for 10 Ma. Spider God, Ding, Windows, happy birthday, Peppa. I would also love you to install all the mods you want. Steven, Ding, you're those gun mods. <gasps> I saw, I saw that's a thing! That's a thing! There is a gun mod! I'm gonna install that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna install the gun mod. Okay, I'm gonna raid into my own birthday stream. Because fuck you. It's my birthday! Not yet. See, the stream was supposed to end. Like. At midnight. When it would officially be my birthday. <sighs> Fucking Hogwarts, man. Fucking wizard game ruining my plans. Magic bullet! How much is the blanket? Holy fuck, it's $45. How big is this fucking blanket? 80 by 60? How big is that? How many cans of Coke stacked on top of each other is that? A can of Coke is six inches, right? So that's like half a door frame of Coke cans. Right? That's quite a few Coke cans. No! <laughs> Burgerland! <laughs> Centimeters? No, inches! Inches! And only $50 shipping! I think you can get like bundled rates? Maybe? I don't know. Don't forget to combine! With the Valentine's merch, if you pass on the Valentine's keychain, you can get... I feel like such a shill right now. Holy shit. <laughs> you know what? Figure it out on your own. Fuck you. I did my job. I shilled the merch. <laughs> hmm. How many years before it ships, though? Well, it's a VTuber company, so, um... Like, five. Like the rest of VTuber merch. But yeah. And this stuff goes off sale... April 3rd. There you go. Sakuna will remember this. <laughs> Shipping! That's a myth! You just buy the VTuber merch and you have the idea of it. It's kind of like an NFT. Is it made to order or limited supply? I think it's made to order. I mean... Who knows? Maybe it is limited supply. Better act fast. When can I pre-order? Right now. I pinned the link. You should be able to just get it right now. 
fish man, what is the shipping? The shipping is so bad. <laughs> Canadian company, please understand. Can I come and get it in Canada? You know, that's a good question. That is a good question. I never do nothing in Pandora. Somehow, Peppa, with all her Pipkin and specific interests, will never get obsessed with Harry Potter growing up in the peak of it. Miracle. Yeah, it's just kinda... Oh god, my eyeball's burning. I don't know, the thing with Harry Potter, right? Is that the main... You know what, all the characters? Just all the characters? I didn't like any of the characters, dude. I didn't like Harry Potter! I didn't like Hermione! I didn't like Ron! I didn't like any of that. They were all, they were all terrible. They were all terrible characters. I didn't like any of them. None of them. It really, it really ruined a big chunk of it for me. Ron was okay? No, Ron was insufferable. Ron was an asshole. Harry was boring. And Hermione was a bitch. Ron was cool? No. No. Hagrid was cool, kind of. He was like a background character though. He like barely appeared. He barely appeared. You know what's weird to me? It's JK Rowling coming out and saying, No! Draco Malfoy can never be redeemed. He was he was just inherently evil. And and blah blah blah. And it's like, you know, Draco never seemed that bad. I don't know. Like Draco always just seemed like a kid with no spine trying to appease their parents. Like, is that really that evil? I think it's just pathetic more than anything, right? Like, it's not... Scabbers was okay. Scabbers was the rat. He becomes a person. Scabbers is a creep. Draco did nothing wrong. He's a bully. He's, just, he's just a stupid kid. He's a really stupid kid. He was a brat. I don't think being a brat makes you evil. Rowling is a bad writer. True. Super Condor, thank you, Lord. She's gonna partner with Face Connect to make Peppa James P Mags. Or P I Mags. Dobby, best girl. Dobby was fucking annoying. That's the problem with the Harry Potter shit, chat. Is so many of the characters were so fucking annoying. Ron was annoying. Hermione was annoying. Draco was annoying. Oh, you know who was cool? Sirius Black was really cool. Sirius Black was the best character in the entire in the entire franchise. Sirius Black was so cool. He's like a cool uncle. He's not the bad touch uncle. He's the cool uncle that takes you to get McDonald's after your parents tell you, No, you can't have any McDonald's. That's too expensive. And then your cool uncle's like, I have five bucks. Let's go get you a kid's meal. And you're like, yeah, this is why I love you. He got killed off. Does, does he die? They killed him. Did they? What about Cedric Diggory? Who the fuck is that? I like Draco's mother. Does Draco even have a mother? I remember his dad. His dad is Lucius Malfoy. And I know that because I watch Hollow Life clips. I thought you said you marathoned. I did! I don't remember Zarius Black dying! Lupin was okay? Cedric is out Oh! He's the guy that dies in the- in the wizard games, right? And then they try to like, turn back time to go save him. And I don't remember what happens after that. How about Cho Chang? I don't know who that is. That name sounds racist. She saves Harry in the end. Who? Cedric is Batman? Nymphadora Tonks. I don't know who that is either. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that is that the same person as Bellatrix? Bellatrix is like Voldemort's Why? Luna? Luna Love Good! She was neat! She you know what? You know what? Sorry, I'm getting into the shipping. You- I'm gonna put on some BDM. You know what? Fuck it. This is a Zatsudon stream. It's Zatsudon hours, bitch. Because my fucking game crashed. Hold on. 
I'm gonna put like a little text box up. Eh, game crashed. Is that so darn time? Ma 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 ma. Oh god. White text on pastel background. <laughs> White text on pastel background. Fuck. Um. What was I talking about? What was I talking about, chat? I know she'd ramble, yeah. Music fighting it out in the background, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because there's two of them. <laughs> there's two of them. <laughs> Double BGM! It's twice as good. <laughs> Lord, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna bring shipping into this chat. Forgive me, for I am woman. But I think... I think... Harry... Should have ended up with Luna Lovegood. I think Hermione's a bitch, and I don't see how anyone would be able to put up with her. Fuck shipping Harry with Hermione. That woman was awful. Should know Harry and Luna. Cause he's like, he's like kinda awkward. And stupid. And she's kinda like... Crazy. And oddly, mystically wise. You know? Harry ended up with Ron's sister, not Hermione. Yeah! But a lot of people ship Hermione and Harry. Right? They wanted Harry and Hermione to get together. But I think that's still bad. I don't even remember who the fuck... Her name was Ginny. I don't remember what she actually did in the movies. I don't remember them ever interacting. But you know what I do know? Is that there's a famous author out there that wrote Ron and Ginny erotica. And she got really famous. And she uh she named her famous book series after her Ron and Ginny erotica fan fiction that she wrote. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know that yet? <laughs> you didn't know that! Oh, allow me to enlighten you. So... The Mortal Instruments, I think? I think that was the right one? Ron... Jin... Ron Jin... Oh! Ron Jin PDF! So this was... Written by Cassandra Clare. Her name was Cassandra Clare. Wait, this is like a subscription service. No, no, no. Give me like... Give me like the, um... Give me the original fan fiction. Oh my god, there's a... Oh no, it's not. It's a fan lore page. Fifty Shades of Ron. Do you want me to read it for you? Do you want me to... Do you want me to read it? Because I can't fucking find it. <laughs> I can't fucking find it. It's real. It's real. So... Let me give you some context. The mortal, the mortal instruments, in case you haven't heard of it, which I hadn't before I heard about all this shit, was a book series that was published between 2007 and 2014. And it had a movie adaptation. It had a movie adaptation, Jack. Not just one movie adaptation, but two movie adaptations. I think they're movies. Never mind, one's a TV show. Hold on, is this also a TV show? No, this is a movie. Okay, so there's one movie and one TV show. So the movie was called The Mortal Instruments City of Bones, and that came out in 2013. And then the other one was Shadow Hunters, which came out in 2016, and it got three seasons! Has your erotica? Has your incest erotica gotten you three seasons of a TV show, chat? I think the fuck not. Step up your game, chat. But let your dreams be memes. City of Bones, eh? Yep, City of Bones. You know that one? Yeah. Huh, City of Bones. Incestually. Because he fucks his sister. Ron and Ginny are siblings. Brother and sister. 
That movie, yeah. And I think there's even incest in the in the in the rewrite. It's kind of like Fifty Shades of Grey, right? You guys remember how Fifty Shades of Grey was originally Twilight fanfiction? I've been educated. You have. Dang, mine always gets banned. Yeah, try harder. You gotta just keep writing more, but eventually one of them will stick, and a publisher will reach out to you. Hold on. Okay. Um, Mortal Instruments. Ron, Ginny, fan fiction. Come on. Takes place in Alabama, by the way. Does it? You're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. Do you guys want to see fan art? Do you guys? Oh wait, wait. Well, I, I don't know what a fan mix is. There's like, um... <laughs> I don't know what this is. I think maybe a fan mix is like a remix of a... Of an existing fan fiction. But here's like a cover art for something? <laughs> That's gotta be satire, right? That's gotta be satire. <laughs> There's no way that's serious. I'm sorry? <laughs> you should be. You should be for not knowing about this amazing... Piece of literature. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it in the family. A Ron Ginny f Famix? Based on the fanfic. Mortal Instruments by Cassie Clare. And then here's this one. I think this is the actual... I think this is the actual... Um... Cover art. Isn't that so romantic? <laughs> So, isn't this so romantic? Hold on, let me read the summary. Let me read the plot summary. The story opens with a quote from Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. The inspiration for the story's title. This is quite Shakespearean. It is told from Ron's point of view and is set at the borough during the summer before his seventh year at Hogwarts. It begins with Ron at home for the summer, trying to distract himself from thoughts of Harry and Hermione. A flashback reveals that Ron had walked in on Harry and Hermione kissing while at Hogwarts. Though he told them that he was fine with their relationship, he is jealous and upset because he has feelings for Hermione. When Ron told Ginny that Harry and Hermione were together, she had been upset and angry and blamed Ron, b fuck, blamed Ron for not keeping them apart. At the burrow, Ron has difficulty sleeping. So Ginny comes into his room and falls asleep with him in his bed. In the middle of the night, Ginny initiates sexual contact. <laughs> the next morning, Ron tells Ginny that they should stop. The next morning, notice. But the two end up starting a sexual relationship against his better judgment. <laughs> the relationship continues with Ron and Ginny's parents... Well, when Ron and Ginny's parents leave to search for a missing Charlie... I don't know who that is. Leaving a Ron and Ginny alone in the house. And Ron realizes that he is in love with Ginny. <laughs> You're keeping the bloodline pure. Can't risk losing those ginger jeans, chat. Them's rare jeans. <laughs> Can't risk mixing that. Because Ron had been ignoring this in Hermione's letters, Harry arrives at the burrow to tell Ron that he and Hermione have broken up. Ginny asks Ron if this means Ron wants to stop being with her, but he doesn't. The parents come back with Charlie, and Ron can tell that Charlie is suspicious of him and Ginny. Ginny says that if they don't stop, then their parents will find out. And Ron tries to convince her that they can still be together. The conversation makes Ginny cry, but Ron holds out hope. At King's Cross! I don't know where that is. Before the next school year, Ron watches as Ginny approaches Harry and flirts with him with newfound confidence. Charlie stops Ron from interfering. And intervening, and Ron realizes that Ginny had only been using him for practice. <laughs> what I come back to? Incest? <laughs> oh, it's the train station! <laughs> Charlie was Ron's narc older brother. Oh. Oh, is he the one that dies? Him and his 
brother. We're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> it's incest NDR, yeah. <laughs> it's incest NDR chat. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here's some praise. Here's some praise. This was critically acclaimed, Jack. The story was well received when it was finally posted to Cassandra Clare's live journal in 20... Or 20... 2014... 2004! And generated at least eight pages of comments. One commenter wrote, I loved this! I love how hidden Ginny is. How you know she's got her own turmoil going on, but how it stays murky and unclear until the very end. And Ron broke my heart, as he so often does. I have my own issues and happily ever after incest fic. But this works beautifully, I think. It bothers me a bit just on principle of it that you felt anxious and po uh, oh, anxious about posting it. I think I can understand why, all things considered. It's a sad state when you don't even feel comfortable, feel fully comfortable using your own journal for your own work. I'm sorry it's come to that. Thanks for sharing this. Another viewer wrote, It's simultaneously disturbing and fascinating because it's so completely plausible! <laughs> the way you formed it, I could definitely see it happening. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I think they're right. I think they're right. I think JK Rowling writes a lot of really weird shit. Although usually she keeps it to Twitter. But I wouldn't put it past her to write incest NTR. That seems right up her alley. What do you think? Tumblr was a mistake. No, this was live journal. This was before Tumblr. This was way before Tumblr. I wish I could find it. I wonder how long it is. I'll take a sip of my drink. I see other people complaining. That they can't find a link to it. Oh, wait! This fucking... Scribd website. You have to, like... You have to, like, become a member? Read free for 30 days. Why is this behind a paywall? Why is this fanfiction behind a goddamn paywall? I wonder what Dumbledore would think of this. What is your beverage tonight, Pips? Coca-Cola? Hey, it's Coca-Cola! Oh my god, somebody translated it into Spanish. Maybe? Maybe? I think somebody... No. Maybe. Yeah, somebody did. Oh my god. Chat, somebody translated it into Spanish. Um... Damn, I'll have to search at a later date. Maybe I can... Maybe I can upload a nice little video. Just reading, um... Just reading this... Wonderful... Wonderful fanfiction. That was adapted into a TV show and a movie! I can't get over this. You're gonna watch the girl at 3 ds Live after this. It was so good! <gasps> I'm sad I missed it! Heck yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Heck yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Master Beast and Gumby PP, listening to historian read the most famous HP fanfic, My Immortal. My Immortal! Chat! Chat! Controversial take time! Controversial take time! I think My Immortal is uninteresting and bad because it just feels like too obvious of a troll. It's just too obvious of a troll chat. There's no way. There's no way. I can't. I can't read that and view it as unironic. It had to have been satire. I don't think it's. I don't think it was real. I really don't. I remember when I first read it. I thought it was dead serious. But I was a lot younger and stupider. Was it My Immortal an intentional parody? It certainly feels like one. The song? No, not the song. The Harry Potter fanfic. Chet, do you not know? Do you not know? My Immortal? Famous? Harry Potter fanfiction? Featuring Sexy Draco?
go. Oh, and then your Dolores, you know 30 H's is the best Harry Potter fan fic? 30 H's. I don't know that fic. No, please tell us. Oh, you want me to read? Hold on. Hell yeah, gamers! Okay. Pippa don't. Pippa yes. Pippa do. Pippa will. Alright. Chapter 1. Author's note. Special things. Get it. Cause I'm gothic. Two. My new... Wait. Fuck. Sorry, this is already giving me brain cancer. Two. My girlfriend. Ew. Not in that way. Raven. Bloody tears. Six, six, six. For helping me with the story and spelling. You rock. Justin, you're the love of my depressing life. You rock too. MCR rocks. Hold on, I should put this... I should put this up on screen. This will be better on screen. Let me, uh... If my... If my... Window will work again. I don't know. Hold on, let me test this out. Because you have to, you have to see it to appreciate the really fucked up, uh, spelling and everything. I don't know if it's gonna work. Never mind, I don't think screen capture is gonna work. God damn it. God damn it! Okay, we're going back to this screen. The blanket! <sighs> is this Stardew Valley? Yes. Comfy music for a beautiful, for a beautiful fan fiction. Ah, uh, MCR rocks with an X. So you know it's serious. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway, and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips that reach my mid-back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Author's note. If you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking oddie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin, I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England. Well, I'm in the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell. And I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset, matching lace around it, and a black leather miniskirt. Pink fishnets and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put my... I put up my middle finger at them. Marvel Fave Eyes? Yeah. Phase 5? Yeah. Hey, Evening! Shouted a voice. I looked up. It was... Dot, 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 dot. Draco Malfoy! What's up, Draco? I asked. N nothing. He said shyly. But then, I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Author's note. Is it good? Please tell me. Thanks. It says thanks. Thanks. She says fangs. Like vampire fangs. And with a Z at the end. That was chapter one, by the way. Chapter two. Author's note. Thanks to Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the chapter. By the way, prep stop flaming my story, okay? The next day, I awoke in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took off my giant MCR t-shirt which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. <laughs> it was more of a paragraph, don't worry about it. My friend Willow. Off. Author's note. Raven, this is you! 
woke up, then, and grinned at me. She flipped her long, waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. Oh my fucking god! I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday! She said excitedly. Yeah? So? I said, blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the Great Hall. See, this is you people. This is everyone who's Slytherin. This is what you sound like. This is all you. No, I so fucking don't! I shouted. Yeah, right! She exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi. He said. Hi. I replied fertilely. F f fertile, 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 flirtily. I can't write. Guess what? He said. Why the voice? Don't worry about it. What? I asked. Well, Good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade. He told me. Oh my fucking god! I screamed. I love GC. They're my favorite band besides MCR. Fertile, yeah, fertility. Well, do you want to go with me? He asked. I gasped. Fertile. <laughs> Shut up! Is the other girl 10? But no, what? Chapter 3. Author's note. Stop flamming the story, preps, okay? Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people for the good reviews. Thanks again, Raven. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't own this or the lyrics for Good Charlotte. You see where this is going? On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on mashing fi fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding, and I listened to some good Charlotte. I painted my nails black and put on TONS of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I put didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyways. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to the concert. <laughs> More clothing, good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Deadbeat. <laughs> she what? Yeah. Yeah. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Author's note. A lot for cool boys wear it, okay? Hi, Draco. I said in a depressing voice. Hi, Ebony. He said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz, the license plate said 666, and flew to the place with the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. I don't know what Good Charlotte song this is. I can't even remember any Good Charlotte songs. So, um, I'll just, uh... You come... Hold on. You come in cold! You come in, in blood! They're all so happy! You've arrived! The doctor cuts your cord! And you to your mom! She sends you free into this life! Sang Joel. I don't own the lyrics to that song. I don't know what song. Joel is so fucking hot! I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. <laughs> Suddenly, Draco looked sad. <gasps> What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you! I said. Really? Asked Draco, sensitively. As he put his arm around me, all protective. 
really? I said. <laughs> Her voice is just gonna change every chapter. Keep going, this is entertaining. Don't listen to the naysayers. Thank you, Kaven! Thank you, I appreciate the words of encouragement. I wish the rest of you could be... Could be like Kaven. <laughs> Draco. <laughs> I, uh, that wasn't a typo or anything. I just can't fucking read. <laughs> Really? I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I hate, I fucking hate that little bitch. I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got good Charlotte concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz. But Draco didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... Dot dot dot. The Forbidden Forest! Oh no! Chapter 4. Truly literature, yeah. Sigma thing was excellent. I'm paying slightly more attention than the other guy to ask you continue to continue. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, there's no... I said, stop flaming, okay? Ebony's name is Anobi, not Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that he is acting different. They knew each other before, okay? Okay. Draco! I shouted. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and walked out of it. I walked out of it too. Curiously. I asked angrily. Ebony? He asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness. And then suddenly I didn't feel mad anymore. And then suddenly. Oh, and then suddenly, just as I. Draco kissed me! Draco climbed on top of me and we started to make out keenly against a tree. He took off my top and I took off his clothes. I even took off my bra. Then he put his thingy into my you-know-what and we did it for the first time. How? 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 I screamed. I was beginning to get an orgasm. <laughs> we started to kiss everywhere and my pale body became all warm. And then... WHAT THE HELL ARE YOU DOING, MOTHERFUCKERS?! It was... Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> DUMBLEDORE! <laughs> Is this verbatim? Yeah. Begging you, please! Now, this is what you get when the game crashes. You get cursed content. Sorry, it's fate. Chapter 5. Author's note. Stop! Flaming. If you flam, it means you're a prep or a posser. The only reason the Mudior swore is because he had a headache. Okay, and on top of that, he was mad at them for having sex! Yes, I'm not updating until I get five good revoice. Dumbledore made and Draco and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools! He shouted. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest! He yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you? Demanded Professor Snape. And then Draco shrieked, BECAUSE I LOVE HER! Everyone was quiet. 
Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Nape, S Snape said, Fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Yepperding? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess, I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. When I came out, da 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 da, Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sing I Just Wanna Live by Good Charlotte. Hold on, what does that sound like? I just wanna live. Good Charlotte. What does this song sound like? We'll just leave that on. DMCA incoming. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight, and he reluctantly went back to his room. So this is the song. Kinda funky, this doesn't sound very emo. Is this emo music? Okay, back to Stardew Valley. <laughs> this is really where the DMZ No. <clears throat> Chapter 6. Author's note. Should it up? Preps, okay? P.S. I will not update until you give me good revows. The next day, I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black miniskirt that was all ripped around the edge and a matching top with red skulls all over it and high-heeled boots that were black. I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I spray-painted my hair with purple. Good Charlotte weren't emo? Why does, why does the author like them so much then? Coffin? Yeah, she's a vampire. Keep up, loser. In the great hall, I ate some count chocula cereal with blood instead of milk. And a glass of red blood. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. Bastard! I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up. Because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going... Oh, that I... Wait, that I was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore, and now he was wearing red contact lenses just like Draco's, and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stubble on his chin. <sighs> he had a sexy English accent. Oh, those words don't go together. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. Okay. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him, kind of like an erection, only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. I'm so sorry. Oh wait, no, this is him. Oh, I'm so sorry, he said in a shy voice. That's all right. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter. The vote people call me vampire these days. He grumbled. Why? I exclaimed. Because I love to take a human blood. He giggled. Well, I'm a vampire. I confessed. Really? He was. <laughs> Yeah, I roared. We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me, so I went away with him. <laughs> Sexy British accents. <laughs> All right, chat. Chapter seven. Bring me to life. Author's note. Well, okay, you guys. I'm only writing this because I got five good reviewies. Now, or and by the way, I won't write the next chapter till I get ten good ones. Stop flaming or I'll report you. Ebony isn't a Mary Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a satinet. And she has problems. She's depressed, for God's sake. Yeah. Idiots. How many chapters is this? 44. 
Bet you didn't expect that fucking number. Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist things on my nails and red nail polish. Author's... oh. Author's note. See, does that sound like Amaru Su to you? I waved to the Empire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. <laughs> Why? Don't worry about it. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly for Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then... We started Frenching passively and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He felt me up before I took off my top. Then I took off my black leather bra and he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked and then he put his boys thingy in mine and we had sex! Author's note. See? Is that stupid? Oh, Draco! Draco! I screamed while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was black heart with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words... Vampire. <laughs> I was so angry. You bastard! I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No! No! Wait, hold on, what was it? No, no, you don't understand! Draco pleaded, but I knew too much! No, you fucking idiot! I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway! <gasps> I put on my clothes all huffily and then stopped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker! I yelled. Chapter 8. <laughs> Author's note. Stop flashing, okay? If you do, then you are a prep! What did I walk into? Walk out. Walk away. Ah, YouTube's dying! We're so bad. Anyways. Everyone in the class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked, and started begging me to take him back. Ebony, it's not what you think! Draco screamed sadly. My friend, Bloody Mary Smith, smiled at me, understatedly. She flipped her long, waist-length, gothic black hair, and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on. She had pale white skin that was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires, and one of them is a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother, and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still has nightmares about it, and is very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith, and not Granger. Since she converted to Satanism, she is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. It all makes sense, chat. It's all coming together. What is it you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape demeaned angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco! I shouted at him. Oh, I can't act of Jesus Christ, thank you for the $200 he does, man. Thank you, thank you. Happy birthday, funny bunny. Keep an eye. Oh, keep being an awesome person. And thank you for sharing your chaotic but wholesome brain with us. Wishing you all the luck and success in the world. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Oh, happy birthday! Hey, it's officially my birthday! Easter time! I guess I could have held off on showing off the merch, but I didn't think I was gonna get into this tangent. Spider God, thank you for those. Happy birthday, Pippa! Thank you! Happy Mars! Thank you for the $100! Happy birthday, Pippa! Pippa Loth! Hey, water! Thank you for coming to me! Happy birthday! This is amazing! Julius, really happy on birthday! Was... Okay, I, I'll, I'll save these for a different stream! I'll save these for a different stream! Thank you! Thank you, thank you for the birthday wishes! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Okay, let's finish this chapter! Um... Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco! I shouted at him. Everyone gasped. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with Vampire. I'm bi, and so was Ebony. For a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany, a stupid preppy fucker. We were just good friends now. He had gone through horrible problems, and now he was gothic. 
Haha, <laughs> I would... Like I would hang out with a prep. But I'm not going out with it, go here, what? Said Vampire. You're fucking right! Fuck off, you bastard! I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the Forbidden Forest where I had lost my morality. To Draco. And then I started to bust into tears. Oh, there's one more chapter on this page. Okay, we'll do this one as well. Chapter 9. Author's note. Stop fighting, okay? I didn't read all the books. This is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. But boys, I said he had a headache and the Russian snap doesn't lick Harry now is because he's Christian and vampire is a Satanist. MCR rocks. I got a good day. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think I missed a hundred dollar. Let's go! Thank you for the hundred dollar goes! Happy birthday, Pippa! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, man! I was so mad and sad, I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. Then, all of a sudden, a horrible and horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying towards me on a broomstick! He didn't have a nose, basically, like Voldemort in the movie. And he was wearing all black, but it was obvious he wasn't gothic! It was! Dot, dot, dot. Voldemort! No! I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted, Imperius! And I couldn't run away. Crookshanks! I shouted at him. Voldemort fell off his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him, even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. Ebony! He yelled. Thou must kill Vampire Potter! I thought about Vampire and his sex eyes and his gothic black hair and how his face looks just like Joel Madden. I remembered that Draco had said I didn't understand, so I thought, what if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and then they broke up? No, Voldemort! I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. No, please! I begged. Thou must! He yelled. If thou does not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco! How did you know? I asked in a surprised way. Voldemort got a dude you're so retarded look on his face. I have telekinesis! He answered cruelly. And if you doth not kill Vampire, then thou know what will happen to Draco! He shouted. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. <laughs> Yeah, a gun chat. It's very... It's canon. It's canon. <laughs> I was so scared and mad I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Draco came into the woods. Draco! I said. Hi! Hi. He said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner, kind of like a pentagram. Get it? Between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Are you okay? I asked. No. He answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me. I expelled. That's okay. He said, all depressed, and we went back into Hogwarts together, making out. Nah. Well, anyways. Chapter 10, uh... Starts off with a slur. So I think that's a safe place to call it. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. My name's Pipkin Pippa! <laughs> and I really, uh, I really appreciate you guys popping in for this Harry Potter stream. It was pretty, uh, MAGICAL! Did you get it? Do you, do you get it? <laughs> what slur? I'll give you a hint, it starts with the letter F. And is preceded by the word gay. So I'll let your imagination run wild. Really, it could be anything. Who fucking knows? It could it could be any number. <gasps> my name's Pepkin, Pippa! I'll see you guys tomorrow for my birthday stream! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, I'm gonna mod the shit out of Harry Potter. Test it a few times and try and make it work. Yeah. Yeah. So! What's oh, so cringe? I think I already set up the raid and everything. Okay. Good night. I'm gonna hop off screen. Okay.
I'll catch up with Super Chats! On the Super Chat Rating Stream! Goodbye! Yeah, friends, that was the slur. 